Hello, I'm Dr. James Walsh. I'm the superintendent of the Bethel Park School District, and I'd like to tell you about our strategic plan. The process for developing a strategic plan for Bethel Park began in the spring of 2021 when the Board of School Directors convened a steering committee comprised of parents, and students, teachers and staff members, administrators, community and business leaders, as well as board members themselves. The steering committee then shepherded the entire process of developing the strategic plan all the way through to the point at which the plan was adopted by the school board. This was a tremendous experience for those on the steering committee, and I acknowledge with gratitude the service of those members who worked throughout the spring and summer of 2021, uh, working tirelessly as a committee and independently to do that analysis and vision setting that brings us to this product we have now. There were some real milestones in that journey to get, develop this strategic plan. One of the important parts of the work was to look internally at information and data about the Bethel Park Schools, uh, looking into the uh, uh, performance and assessment and achievement data, looking at financial uh, data, uh, looking at our history um, and past, looking at our curriculum, uh, doing a very extensive internal scan uh, to get to know what are our strengths, what are the weaknesses and what opportunities exist uh, for us in the future. Another level of work was for the committee to look outside of Bethel Park, looking uh, at our benchmarking schools very similar to Bethel, to look at our neighboring systems, to look across the Commonwealth and even across uh, the country to know what's going on in education outside of Bethel and what can we learn from that vision. Uh, with those internal and external scans, the committees then started to coalesce around the ideas, uh, the goals that they would establish uh, for this strategic plan to bring us to ultimately the best possible future for Bethel Park uh, in the five-year journey of a strategic plan. Um, at the end of at that summer of 2021, the committees then presented their findings, their vision and goals to the larger steering committee uh, and uh, was able to coalesce around those big ideas. This, that is documents were then taken by the administration and prepared um, through a SWOT analysis where we looked at the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats that would help or prevent us from achieving those goals. Um, then the goals went through a bit of a, a prioritization. We asked our community uh, in Bethel Park to review those goals and help us prioritize which goals were the most urgent and pressing and which goals would be more long range over the five year period of the strategic plan. What I'd like to do now is share with you those goals that were identified by the steering committee and uh, over the course of the preparation of the journey. There were actually six subcommittees that were formed out of the larger steering committee. Uh, each subcommittee was responsible for one important aspect of the school district's operation. Uh, we had a curriculum and instruction subcommittee. We had a student experience subcommittee we had a human resources subcommittee, a diversity, equity, and inclusion subcommittee. We had a budget and finance subcommittee, and we had a facilities and infrastructure subcommittee. And each of those subcommittees stayed focused on those internal and external scans related to the area of focus identified by the subcommittee. Here then are the findings, the goals, We'll start with the curriculum and instruction subcommittee. They identified five goals for the next five years. The first goal was to align and clearly articulate 
a relevant and 21st century curriculum. Curriculum is the lifeblood of a school and the goal then identifies the time we'll send, the care we'll take to be sure that our curriculum is carefully aligned and articulated over those 12 years, 13 years, including kindergarten, uh, that students spend in our schools. The second goal was to ensure that there is a consistent implementation of the curriculum across all classrooms, across all the buildings, as well as consistency with our intervention programs and our instructional practices. The third goal directs our efforts towards the special education students in Bethel Park. And the goal identifies an expectation that our special education students will achieve commensurate levels of performance like our benchmarking schools are achieving across uh, the area. We want to ensure, therefore, that our special education students are getting the best possible experience necessary for them to achieve their own areas of growth and their own next best. The fourth goal seeks to improve our achievement levels, particularly on those state and national assessments uh, that become very public facing uh, scores and report cards for schools. We're talking about the PSSA tests, and the Keystone exams, AP tests, SATs, and the ACTs. It's those assessments that we want to find ways to improve student performance. And that comes from the curriculum and the alignment, as well as it comes from the, the uh, instructional practices we have in place for our students and for our teachers. The fifth goal uh, is a vision to be best in class with a relevant, rigorous, and engaging 21st century STEAM program. Uh, this will be STEAM experiences in all classes at all levels every year. We want our students to have those engaging, interconnected, um, hands-on type experiences to grow their expertise in those STEAM areas. Of course, it goes without saying that STEAM is an integration of the sciences, technologies, engineering principles, arts, and mathematics. The Student Experience Subcommittee identified three goals. The first is to ensure that all students experience exactly the educational supports and the teachers are employing the best possible instructional materials and designs using the principles and practices of the universal design for learning. The second goal from the Student Experience Committee speaks entirely of school safety issues. Uh, they divided their goal up into four smaller sub pieces, all of it pointed towards the areas of growth for student and staff safety. And number one is to make sure that we have the social workers or counselors in every building. Number two is to ensure that we have the student assistance program in every building. Uh, the student assistance program, of course, helps to remove barriers to student success, things that can prevent them from being their best academic selves. Number th three on that list speaks to uh, the discipline and the proactive approach to student discipline that will therefore reduce suspensions uh, in school and out of school uh, by a, a, a certain percentage. Uh, the fourth goal uh, speaks to all of those programs and all of those measurements uh, being equally accessible to students of color and special education students. And in particular, therefore, be sure that those students have a commensurate level of success uh, as all students do. And the third goal is addressing the level of student engagement and pride in the Bethel Park schools. Uh, it targets that the students in our school will have uh, high levels of connectedness, respect, and a sense of value while they spend time in our system. The Budget and Finance Subcommittee identified two goals. 
Uh, the first is to develop a dashboard or a measurement system by which our, the return on investment that the taxpayers make annually in Bethel Park can be assessed and monitored. Looking at things like cost that we spend per student and what type of achievement we are getting for those investments. The second goal is to develop a long range budget plan uh, that will look down the road five or 10 years into the future to anticipate the investments, uh, the expenses, uh, the capital projects, uh, all of the things that would be necessary to know kind of financial investment will be necessary to sustain Bethel Park's productivity and success. The Human Resources Subcommittee identified three goals. In a school, a uh, public school in particular, human resources are our most prized possession, our most prized and necessary resource. It is the, the staff that makes us Bethel Park and makes us great. And it's our students uh, that deserve the best possible experience with that staff. So the, the three goals, the first is to complete a staffing analysis. This will be based on a feasibility study that the district commissioned uh, back in the fall of 2020 to be sure that we are maximizing the staff that we have in our buildings uh, and that programs and services are equitably equally available across all of our classrooms. Second goal speaks to our staff uh, to ensure that we have a wellness program so that we have the best possible versions of our teachers coming to work with us every day. And the third goal is to ensure that we are helping our teachers polish that diamond of their work. Uh, the professional development will be uh, the most effective and necessary for them to help them grow. The Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Subcommittee identified three goals. Uh, the first is that you want to ensure that all students uh, through the Bethel Park Schools will achieve equity and feelings of connectedness, respect, and value through our policies, our budgeting practices, and our staffing, as well as the educational programming that we employ. The second goal is to increase the population of students who currently feel marginalized uh, to help them increase their sense of connect, respect, and value in our schools so that in the future, fewer numbers of them will feel disconnected when they come to our buildings. And the third goal, much like the human resources goal, wants to direct the professional development towards staff to ensure that they have the tools, the ideas, and the skills to meet the individual needs of students, particularly the diverse population of our students and our students with special needs. The Facilities and Infrastructure Group, this is the sixth and final group that was formed out of the steering committee. They took a different approach. Uh, they did not develop goals as much as they started to develop lists and ideas around a facilities master plan. Uh, they recognize that we have uh, many buildings in the district, aging buildings, aging facilities. And so this committee developed a, began to develop a facilities master plan. And uh, they based this on that aforementioned facilities study that was completed in the fall of 2020 and identified areas of need and opportunities in the process. And this committee helped connect those needs of infrastructure with the opportunities that exist in order to develop a plan for how we could meet both the needs and the opportunities. They identified some things uh, outside the feasibility study that should also be attended in our facilities master plan. For sure, things like bus garage, renovations, uh, restrooms and concession stands at the practice field of the high school, uh, attending to the administrative offices, stadium renovations, and in particular, the road that goes behind the stadium, and looking at turfing the baseball and softball fields at the stadium. But perhaps the most important thing that they identified in the master plan is a priority, a goal 
to achieve equity in facilities so that all kids, no matter what school they attend, have access to those programs and services and facilities to reach their best possible selves. So that was 17 goals, 17 broad, far-reaching and ambitious goals to bring Bethel Park to its best possible future in the next five years. What happens next? Uh, after the goals and the plan is adopted, the administration then develops a system by which we measure ourselves on the success with these goals uh, to be able to track over the five-year period that we are achieving the goals as we would intend to achieve. We'll call this our balanced scorecard and we'll make this a very public facing document so that folks in the communities like yourself can track our progress to see these goals coming true. We also make it an annual report or more often report to our board of school directors on the progress of achieving the strategic plan. We intend ultimately uh, that each of the goals in the strategic plan will be shepherded by an administrator or other staff member to be responsible for tracking the progress, monitoring the progress, and keeping that goal on everybody's minds and hearts as we move forward. While you're watching this video in the fall of 2021, know that there is still a window open for community to provide feedback to the board about the plans, about the goals, uh, what you like and what you suggest could we could do to perhaps improve. Uh, and that can be done through a link on our website uh, to a survey. Uh, there's also printed copies of our strategic plan in the public library and the district administration building. Uh, and in the, those public copies is a link uh, that you can follow to make your own comments of things you wanted to share. In closing, I wanna make sure I emphasize again, the sincere appreciation of the administration and the board for all of the members of the steering committee, for all the work, the heavy lifting and thinking that you did to get us to this point now where we have this vision and clarity for ourselves for the next five years. And know that it's now the real work begins. Now that we have a plan, it's important that all of us, staff, administration, faculty, board members, community members, parents, students, all of us lock arms together and begin to march steadily forward to achieving these goals that we have set for ourselves. I thank you for your interest in our strategic plan.